Hey everybody, thanks for checking out our video here. We're going to show you how to follow the stock market and major U.S. equities coming off the, the important Fed meeting that ended up concluding earlier today. Uh, this is a pre-recorded video. I ended up taking a few trades on the stock, Shopify. So we'll look to show that coming up. If you wanted to learn more about what we offer, just go right to that link right there, cybertradinguniversity.com slash trial, just to sign up for our live trading room. But with that said, let's hop right to it here. Um, we're going to show the Shopify trade. This is really going to be off of 3 o'clock Eastern time. You know, we normally host our, our afternoon meeting inside our live trading room at 2.30. I was trading the stock coming off the Fed meeting right at 2 p.m. So I was initially looking for the short, and I was initially looking for it from that dashed yellow line at 35.30. I ended up taking a couple of different break-even trades where I went in short, and I ended up getting stopped out as it popped back over that price. Now, at that point, we ended up having Jerome Powell, Fed chair, do a big press conference right at 2.30 Eastern time. That was basically the same time I was doing our broadcast inside our live trading room and on our YouTube channel, that is. But with that said, I ended up missing this giant drop off here. It's a shame to say, but shortly afterwards and after I finished up the afternoon meeting we did, I had to jump right back to this trade and really figure out my levels. So I had plotted these lines, these levels prior to even two o'clock. Um, just the yellow line that you see there at 3479 is a really important price as that was yesterday's market close price, as well as pretty much right around the same price, uh, maybe off by one penny. But that was the open price from today as well. So there's a lot of volume, a lot of big money that was being traded off that price level from yesterday at the close going into this morning. So with that said, I was looking for the short on this trade coming off of that price. What I made the mistake on right here as I had initially entered the short at 34.89, I wasn't expecting as much volatility as we had there. So that right there was a bit of a mistake. I wasn't in exactly the best situation at first. However, my game plan here was that if we can get this to break under that 34.79 price, 34.78, 34.79, and more importantly, if it could hold there, then we can get our move. At the same time, I'm watching the SPY, the S&P ETF here. Um, obviously, this is all sped up here just to try and make it a shorter video. But with that, you could see the SPY on the bottom of this chart here as well. And it was beginning to hold resistance that I had plotted and begin to began to pull back more. So especially with Shopify, holding under that major volume level at 34.79, I felt like I was in a really good situation from this point. So I didn't necessarily have the best entry on this trade. Um, I was looking for this to make a lower high, but it was going to be shortly underneath that 35 level, and I wasn't expecting as good of a pop initially at first. So thankfully, this worked out in my favor. It ended up breaking back below that big level, and at that stage, I knew I was in a really good position. Now, we're going to slow this video down at some point soon here. I ended up editing this and slowing it down to a degree. You're going to see right here coming up. You're going to see a big iceberg pop up for about 50, 40,000 shares roughly. That's at 3440. So right at that point, I started to begin my scale out process. So I ended up scaling a quarter of my leg out, a quarter of my position out at that 3440 just to take profit. Again, I didn't necessarily have the greatest entry on this trade and I'd missed out on the bigger shakedown from 230 Eastern. So it's not to say I chased this position. Um, but it's to say, though, that I'd missed out on a good portion of the run already. But with that, I started to scale out and I had three quarters of that position remaining. The SPY was beginning to break down a bit more. And at that point, Shopify ended up dropping down to my next major support level. I had a lot of faith in this support level holding a lot better than it did. So truth be told, I ended up taking a half of my overall position out leaving me with a quarter of my overall position left remaining. So with that, this last quarter, I wanted to just let ride. I felt really accomplished and really happy with the trade I ended up making here anyway. You know, at first it didn't have the greatest entry strategy wise, but it really worked out from this point. So I ended up taking three quarters of my position out at this stage and I have a quarter left. Um, this is pulling back to the next support here at 34 bucks at this stage. So at a whole number price, like 35, you ended up seeing that hold as a major top just before. You should also expect 34 to be a bit of a support there. Uh, with the last quarter of my position, I ended up letting this ride a little bit more here as it shook around towards 3390, 3385. 
Um, my game plan was that if it ended up snapping back over that 34 level, I would have been out at that point on the last quarter. So really, it's just following the S&P, the SPY, and really just the smooth downtrend that this ended up building throughout the afternoon. So at this stage, I begin to think about my exit process either way. Um, just to be really transparent with you folks, I ended up having to go to the Florida DMV, had an appointment at four o'clock. I knew I had to leave here imminently. So at this stage, I could have hung on a little bit longer just to let let it ride and have some fun. But I ended up getting out right here at 33.88 on the last quarter of my position. Um, I felt pretty good about that because normally heading into the market close, you're going to see a little shake around and some volatility, perhaps with the drop off we just encountered, maybe a little short covering here from this point. But here with the case of Shopify, we didn't necessarily see that. I think that was the case with the whole market. But Shopify as a whole ended up holding under that 34 level. You could see it just poked up right towards that price, but it ended up coming back down. I could have held on to this trade just a little bit longer as it ended up making that drop off a little bit more. But, you know, at that stage, though, you know, it didn't do much further from that point. So all in all, the Shopify trade really worked out in our favor. It all ended up having to do with seeing a big support level getting broken through that 3489 price or 3479, I should say, that solid, solid yellow up top that you could see there. That was a huge volume based level. So for me, again, I could have had a, a better entry on this trade strategy wise. But once this ended up breaking under that solid yellow line at 3479, I knew I was in a really good position in terms of seeing a continued move down. So, you know, it's not a matter of being a perfectionist on this trade, but it's really just more of a matter of seeing the stock make you know, a decent drop off from the level that you were anticipating. If it fails to make that real big drop that you would want, then you have to be prepared for the reaction to go the other way. Thankfully, that wasn't the case here on Shopify. This ended up holding 34 well, it ended up dropping off. And at this point, you know, it's a great trade to carry going into the market close with the Fed just continue with the with the spy continuing to dump off as it did here. Normally, you'd see a trade like this look to you know, shake around quite a bit. It looks like there were some big iceberg orders here on the trade station matrix on my level three uh, program there, right at 3376, 3372. You know, those big orders on the uh, right hand side in red on that red column, that's going to help this, this trade squeeze down a little bit lower and lower over time. Um, keep in mind, this video, this entire video really from the start was sped up. So, you know, these orders don't move nearly as fast as you see there. I just wanted to, to condense this video down quite a bit just to, you know, show the overall movement on Shopify today. But hey, all in all, it led to a great trade, not just on Shopify, but plenty of other, you know, major equities that follow the S&P and the overall markets as a whole. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll follow up with this trade come tomorrow. It's not to say that we trade Shopify every day, but just this has been a really volatile, volume packed trade over the last week and a half. So going into. Become a Cyber Group member today. Just click the link below and receive all these amazing products and a world of knowledge for just $9. Do it today.